Hello, Louisiana Beer Reviews. Salsa Agave Cocktails. We are looking at a cocktail inspired drink. And there's a disclaimer it does not contain distilled spirits. Lime Crush, 8% alcohol, sweetened with agave nectar. And then there's an asterisk, which is supposed to lead me somewhere else. But it doesn't. 2% juice from concentrate, 196 calories for one 12 ounce can. Yow, yow, $1.67 a can in the 12 pack. Uh, Salsa is a te tequila company, but yet it contains no tequila. <laughs> there are some video reviews for this uh, already. Um, if you look up salsatequila.com, one word salsatequila.com, they do show these. They're new for 2022. This is Best Buy September 2022. And it says P0792. I think that's Pennsylvania, the 79th day of 2022. This is a guess. At 4.37 a.m. 43 is probably like the production line. It's certified kosher. And uh, bought this at Mathern's and it says canned for sales of beverage company by the Boston Beer Company. Boston Beer Company, they own Samuel Adams and Dogfish Head. Boston, Massachusetts, Bringsville, Pennsylvania, Cincinnati, Ohio, and under special agreement, Memphis, Tennessee, and La Crosse, Wisconsin. And that's City Brewing, not even associated with Boston Beer Company. Just as like I guess a subcontractor okay um, but they got the only thing that matches to me is the P Pennsylvania never before had this I'd like to tell you all the ingredients but I can't it just says malt beverage pre I'm sorry premium malt beverage with natural flavors so we know it's natural lime flavor and I don't know how it's going to taste sweetened with agave. It might be gross. Lime crush. I would be more comfortable if they said sweetened with cane sugar, but no certified color. So it's gray. These malt beverages, if they have no color, and they're always this milky gray, cloudy gray with bubbles. Let's give it a go. It's supposed to taste like a margarita, but it's beer based. And my friend David said, well, why do you make them beer-based? Why do you don't make them tequila-based? I said, because some states don't allow it to be sold. If it's, it's a ridiculous law. If it's liquor-based, so they make them beer-based, and then get them to taste like a liquor-based cocktail. They got some silliness in the United States. And not just that instance of silliness. Yeah, it almost like... It's almost like you could smell the grains, like I would think barley, malt, and corn. But they supposedly distill these or filter, filter, filter the beer base down to a clear, odorless, colorless, grain neutral spirits type product. But it's not grain neutral spirits, it's grain neutral beer because it's made from grain, corn, rice, corn and or rice and barley with hops. If it's a malt beverage, it must contain hops. That's the law. All right. All right. It smells pretty good. That's not a whole lot of aroma. Let's go with the taste. Cheers. You know, you can tell it's not cane sugar. Sugar cane. It's kind of a weird sweetness. But it's not bad like aspartame or saccharin or those other nasties. A C store selling the agave sweetener, so that doesn't mean they're good. But this this is not bad. Could you take agave nectar and turn it into tequila? That's actually what they do. They take agave nectar and turn it into tequila through a distillation process. Fermentation, then distillation. Um, it's sweet, but it's not 
profoundly sweet. It's more like three and a half out of five sugar cubes, honestly. Whereas the sugar-based products usually be more like four out of five sugar cubes. Bitterness units. I mean, it probably has bitterness units, but I don't detect it. I'm going to look up on Crescent Crown uh, distributing over here in New Orleans, Eastern New Orleans on Almanaster Boulevard, because they will usually list the IBUs, and you know they're getting it from the, the producer. <clears throat> but it's, in a real world sense, it's zero out of five hop cones. Mm -hmm. There's no bitterness. There's a slight amount of tartness. Maybe two out of five warheads. Uh, you know, but um, you would expect lime to have tartness. It's a, the type of fruit that has that. Bodies, um, well, medium, maybe high medium because of that high calorie count. I could be influenced by what I read, but it does seem to be high medium. The finish is mostly dry. Um, does it taste like a real margarita? I don't know. I never had a real margarita. <laughs> That's a true story. I sipped one one. Took a sip of my mother's margarita in 1980 when we were at the campground in Tallahassee, Florida. Because there was a um, like a restaurant bar next to the campground, KOA campground, and which might still be open. And so my parents were like, "Let's go get some margaritas." I said, "Let me take a sip." I took a sip. It tasted pretty good, kind of like this, you know, like a sugar-oriented product. Sort of like a snowball that we used to get. Are they? I think up north they call them snow cones. Like a lime flavored, yeah, you know, snowball. Um, yeah, it's okay. Is it vastly different from all the other lime oriented margarita style flavored malt beverages that have saturated the market? No, it isn't. Uh, it's very similar to those. Which are the best? I mean, they, I, they, they've got so many, I, I really don't know. Um, I can think of some that are pretty grim. The uh, Bud Light series with the uh, sugar substitute flavoring. Uh, those are, ooh, uh, I don't even see those anymore. They must have like hit, missed, and got pulled. Um, it was like, a, it wasn't a um, seltzer per se. But, uh, the Margaritaville from Anheuser-Busch at only 4%. Yeah, they're not coming out. They're not coming across too nice. They, they, they're too bland, too dull, too thin. Uh, I don't know what they're trying to achieve there. Uh, the Southern Comfort Series which are try, trying to mimic Southern Comfort based cocktails. Well, those are very nice. Uh, my friend David said, yeah, that tastes like Southern Comfort. Um, but it's made by Anheuser-Busch in St. Louis, Missouri. Uh, but they, um, sugary is sweet. I, I saw one this morning, this morning. Um, those are all right. And they're they obviously doing well, especially those tall cans, singles. Um, Let's see what else. Obviously, the Cayman Jack is a huge, huge success. And, and there's so many. There's Cornitos. Now that Dos Equis got one coming out. And this is the, the ironic part. There's a tequila company, Salsa, that's making a margarita-style can ready to drink that's not liquor-based. But yet... Dos Equis, a beer company, is making one of these margaritas that is liquor-based. If you get on the uh, website or look at the uh, packaging, which I saw, 1149 and four pack, it says, uh, contains tequila. I said, somebody got mixed up. <laughs> beer company making tequila drinks and a tequila company making beer drinks. Craziness. All right. Anyway, score. I mean, I'm not too hurt paying $19.99 a 12-pack. Get four different flavors. I mean, I had the money. I budget. I do a budget every month. I stay within it. I never go over the budget. 
except when I got up. No, I really don't go over the budget. I'm talking about homeowners insurance, but um, that's really factored in. Um, yeah, it's okay. It's kind of bland, honestly. It's kind of like a corn flavor. I bet they're using a lot of corn syrup to produce it. I don't know. Yeah, it's all right. 8%. You don't detect that. I would rather get the Rita's, to tell you the truth. You know, those uh, lime Rita's, strawberry, coconut Rita, and, and those. Um, they're not trying to be like a margarita mixed drink. They're just trying to be like flavored strong beer, 8%. I'd rather get the Alloy Series from Steel Reserve. Also 8%. <clears throat> um, but, uh, but this is okay. I'm going to go with... Um, like 79 out of 100, like a C plus. It's okay. That's all I can say about it. Uh, you say, what's happening to Boston Beer Company? This is what this is what it's come to now. This is basically what it's come to now because um, when the other things deteriorate, you got to make money. You got to stay in business. So you start contracting with people and say, well, we'll make this. We'll do that do anything. I mean, look at Rogue. I never see Rogue beers anymore. See nothing from them. But uh, but now they got the Rogue Spirit Cocktails. And I bought four of those. So, and they're made with real spirits. Rogue Spirits. Oh, well. So, a C plus. It's okay. I wouldn't buy it again, but I bought it. And I'm going to end this review by saying, y'all go to all of those towns I listed, and that's a lot of them, and tour the facility.